What's up, everybody? Hope you are doing well and taking care of yourselves at this time. Have you ever had a buddy who talked about the size of their crappies and made you wonder, how big is that? Well, today, we're going to talk about the Hmong measurement system to help you understand exactly how big that fish was. Back in the days, Hmong people didn't really have any measuring devices or any handy-dandy little measuring tapes or other measuring tools. And so what Hmong people did use to help them measure were their body parts. So with this measurement using our hand, the measurement is in the, on the, ben the, laun the. The means di de. The also means like to move, right? Di. But the word di in this context refers to di de. So in di de, on di de, ben di de, laun di de. So if I were to measure this measuring tape, I would go in di, on di, ben di, laun di. That's about the size of this measuring tape right here. So if they ask me how big is it, I would say laun di. Now you might be wondering, so what if it's all five fingers? Great question. So if it's four finger plus the thumb, now the terminology is EC, or you might hear some people say EC de, one full hand. So take this box for example. This box is slightly bigger than this measuring tape. So for this box, I would say this box is about EC de. Now what if the box is turned this way and horizontally, the box is bigger than EC de. Now the measurement becomes EC and add the fingers to it on the EC on the so it's one hand plus two fingers. This measurement system is only used for smaller scale items. So that's why you always hear people refer to it when they're talking about the size of a fish. So if you ask your buddy how big were those copies and they say, hmm, pretty big, bendy. But now that you know the Hmong measurement system, you know what size it was. So remember, in the, on the, ben the, blown the. If it's a full hand size, including the thumb, EC te. I hope that helps you understand the Hmong measurement system so that the next time your buddy says the fish was about blown the, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. And if you got buddies who are bass fishers and love to tell their stories of the lunkers they're always catching, you might want to stay tuned for the next episode so that whenever they say, you know exactly what they're talking about. I hope that makes sense. As always, take care, be well, machine jitlo. Peace out.